The Native American community threw an event called a powwow, which is a celebration of their culture. I was able to speak with Ed Smith and Keelan Jacobs to understand why the event is brought together. This is what we call a powwow. It's a contemporary um, social gathering for American Indian people like all over the United States and Canada. Um, they do have them kind of all over the world now, um, service members, things like that. Um, but yeah, it's just a gathering. We'll be singing, dancing. Um, there'll be arts and crafts vendors, food vendors. Kind of a fun get together of social events. Uh, it's an opportunity for all the native people of the surrounding area to get together and kind of celebrate, um, to have fun, to socialize, to get to know each other. Um, I don't know how much you're aware, but Native Americans throughout the United States represent less than 0.1% of the total population. So opportunities like this are few and far between. So you don't really get to see a whole lot of other natives as, as a Native American, you know, you typically run into everyone else but your own people. Although trying to keep the event in its traditional form, I wanted to know what has changed, but what has stayed the same over the years. In my life, as far as these type of gatherings, nothing's really changed too much. I mean, it's probably become larger or more commercialized, I guess, to a certain degree. But overall, the events are, are essentially the same. Um, they're slightly different up here than where I'm from. This is what you would call kind of a northern style powwow. There's the um, continuing the cultures aspect um, of the different Indian cultures from different tribes. Um, and our young people seeing that this is still um, a sense of pride for them, that they can be proud of, of where they come from, um, but also uh, to kind of like keep that going, to, to keep it, pass it down. This was the second year running the event has taken place at UCM, and so we wanted to find out how they get the word out and how the event is moving forward. Well, nowadays we have social media, so it gets out pretty quick. Um, in the old days, uh, we put out flyers, uh, paper flyers, and we pass them around, and I'll be announcing other dances. Um, when I was younger, you know, uh, the ladies and stuff used to have little pocket calendars, and they'd just sit there, and as the MC was announcing them, they'd be writing it down. Um, and that, that's kind of how we did it, but it's a lot of word of mouth. Um, advertising at other dances, uh, social media. I mean, yes, I, I think so, but it all depends on where, you're, where you go, you know. If you go to locations where there's typically a lot of powwows, yeah, people are congregating more and more and more, and they're growing. This is Gemma Ventries, reporting for Lowdown.